Hey guys, Jesus here with the Vault Pro Scooters and today we're going to be unboxing the new Attic decks as you've seen on the title. And we got the Peasley deck right here that we're going to open first. And then we have the Johan Moru next. So let's look at it. Pretty traditional head tube from Attic. Very nice lightweight design with a lot of cutouts in the front end. Still pretty same sharp edges right here, not fully boxed. Same with the back. Pretty sick graphic. Looks like it's a boat. You can see by the sails with the addict on the flag. That's pretty sick. And then all the lines make it really nice and intricate. Let's take a look at the specs though. As you guys see here, it may look stained, but this is the actual finish to the deck. It's got a pretty unique like raw with some kind of like hard to explain, but it's very similar to the Logan Fuller. In other words, kind of like a dirty raw. So this bad boy is going to be just a hair underneath the five wide. Kind of sad that it's not the full five, which is just missing by a hair. 4.9, you know, not too bad. And the length though, we're gonna have is actually about 23.2 actually. Going from the welds of the head tube to the back of the brake, you're gonna have 16 inches of foot space. So being a 23 long deck, 16 inches of foot space is pretty good. It's ideal for the head tube design as well because it does take about and I will show you, the head tube alone takes about four inches right there. According to the dropouts, pretty simplistic. It's no plugs or anything because it's not a square back. You're just gonna have your deck spacers and please don't lose these as we always say. Very important to the deck. The brake is gonna have simple four millimeter bolts. And then as I see, they're gonna be, well, the lock nuts are welded into the brake as well. So no need to have, you know, a socket at the bottom to hold the lock nuts. All you're gonna need is your four millimeter Allen bolt and you'll be good to take off the brake. Before the attic decks had all the plastic brakes which would snap like, like that. So luckily now they've moved on to a metal flex fender. Currently does not state if it can fit up to 120 millimeter wheels. Attic only makes um, usually up to 110. So modification for 120 millimeter and up may be necessary. Now moving on to the front, really sick because you're gonna see the blacksmith name right there. Looks really nice. I like as well in the head tube, it's just kind of how like, this is almost like a plug. Um, you can kind of see it from the inside lines from the black compared to the raw material. Very nice. So that's pretty sick. That's gonna be the Alex Peasley guys. The last thing we're gonna have for you is gonna be the weight. So let's weigh this bad boy out. As you see it, it's gonna be three pounds and seven ounces. So you can rough this deck at three and a half pounds. Not too bad, definitely for being addicts and people would think, oh, it should be lighter, but being 23.2 long and 4.9 wide, definitely understandable. So guys, that's gonna be the Alex Peasley. Now let's pull out the Johan Maru. If you guys don't know about Johan Maru or Alex Peasley, you're definitely gonna have to search around YouTube and do some homework because these guys shred it. Alex Peasley does not ride as much anymore. He is an older fella. He's definitely an OG in the sport. So, you know, definitely tributes to him because seeing him riding for quite some time. And then now we're gonna have the new up, up and comer, Johan Maru. And look at this. This is a very nice, like, matte red. And looking at the bottom to start off, JM for Johan Maru. Looks like he's kind of got like a statue right here, holding right here a spear. He's got like an owl here on the bottom of the pillar, attic scootering. This is a pretty sweet graphic. I'm not gonna lie. I like this one a lot. And now let's take a look at these specs. Starting off, since we got the scale out, Let's weigh this bad boy. And that's three pounds, 4.6 ounces, 4.7, it just bumped up. So barely a couple ounces difference. So now let's look at the size difference though. And same thing, we got about a 4.9 width, so not yet the full five. Super close, but just underneath it by a hair. And the length though here though, definitely a lot better for some of you park shredders or some of the you know smaller decks is 21.75. 21 and three quarters of a length. Definitely about an inch and a half difference versus the Alex Peasley. So if you don't like too long of a deck and you know, you're okay with a little bit less foot space, then definitely the Johan Morrow will be the deck for you. Now let's measure the foot space on this one. Not too bad, about 14 and a half. So just like we were saying, it's about an inch and a half difference less in the length. So our foot space was just about an inch and a half less as well. Silver here, that's pretty cool. So you go from the black on the Peasley and then you have the silver on the Johan. And then this one here is gonna also have a little bit more of his signature graphic, and that's pretty cool. I don't know if you notice on the Peasley one, you're gonna have it, it just says attic scootering. So that's pretty cool. Same exact features on the back, same brake, you know, same type of axles and everything, nothing different on that behalf. You're gonna have the same head tube angle at 82 and a half. As you see it though, guys, it's just gonna be this nice like matte satin red, and then this dirty raw 
Hopefully they're gonna have some more models like a black or a chrome coming out. There's currently no exact confirmation on that, but we'll definitely will be releasing some further details in the future. Good to still have people like Johan Maru and Alex Peasley representing Attic. Thank you guys very much for all the support. If there's anything we might've missed, any other questions you guys might have, definitely feel free to drop them down in the comments below. Till next time, make sure you're following us on all our social media and staying up to date and take care.